Leave it to the Duchess, Meghan Markle, to exploit International Women's Day today to promote her own charity, the Archwell Foundation, to be at South by Southwest, which they paid to be at. Because South by Southwest is owned by Penske Media, which owns all the Hollywood trades. Hmm, I wonder if Meghan was getting something else out of this panel. Well, either way, she got to use it as an opportunity to promote herself as a well-spoken speaker for feminism, as well as take shots at us YouTubers. Yep, ready to see it? Oh boy. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and I would like to start the show by celebrating all the women that are watching. My amazing wife, Jami, my daughter, Valeria, my mom, and my partner in YouTube crime, Steph the Alternerd. I am surrounded by powerful women, and I salute you all. Sadly, this is not a woman I salute often, and I'm just bothered by the fact that she's there at all. Guys, it's important to remind you, she doesn't even pay her employees the same. And why that's so troubling is here's her female employer, Shauna, who's there celebrating her boss, and she doesn't even get paid the same as her male counterparts. And they, she has like the similar same title. What's up with that, Megan? That looks so shady. Anyway, Sean is there to play because- uh, Feminist and champion of human rights and gender equity. Megan, the Dutch- Gender equity, ha, <laughs> Wait, sorry. You missed that, Shauna. Duchess of Sussex is a New York Times best-selling author and co-founder of the- Arch She wrote a kid's book. Archwell Foundation and Archwell Productions. And Archwell Productions, how many times are you gonna say Archwell? Take a shot every time in this panel. Her influence extends across various sectors from entertainment to philanthropy, making her a driving force for positive change. And the weird non-hug, what was that? Anyway, just always awkward when she walks on the stage. All right, look, I'm not here just to knock Megan on Women's Day. That's, that's not good. I, I want to focus on a specific part where she takes a shot at us. Now, honestly, I watched all her sections. Steph is watching the whole panel. I think she's live now. Guys, make sure... You know, subscribe to Steph the Alternate. Where's the link? There it is. Make sure if you haven't already, she's so close to 100,000. Let's get her there. Subscribe here as well. Uh, and uh, make sure you watch over on Popcorn Palace if you haven't subscribed here. We did a really good video. A lot of you ca caught it. But I want you to understand the ties to South by Southwest, why she's there, why she actually is, uh, you know, supporting it, sponsoring it. There's a lot more behind the scenes. I think it's a lot darker, the reasons. But anyway, I, I want to get to this question because, yes, the question's asked about bullies. And it comes around to YouTube and, well, not me. I'm not a woman, but I'm still, I think, counted. But let's hear this question. <laughs> Megan, uh, I want to come back to you because social media has really become the go-to place for girls and women to be scrutinized, objectified, bullied, right? And unfortunately, I know that this is something that you are all too familiar with. So how have you been able to manage the seemingly endless toxicity uh, that comes at you? Like as if that question wasn't prepared, as if that wasn't like demanded of a question so we could victimize poor Megan as if she's the only person who suffers online harassment, as if the rest of us don't all face it too. Look, I've said it before. No one should harass Megan. We sh you shouldn't. We're not. I'm not harassing her. I'm criticizing her. She's a public figure. Anybody who goes across the line and tries to make fun of her looks and all this other stuff, is to me, I, I, I don't subscribe to that. Uh, uh, so look, the, the reality though is Criticism online, all of it is the tax of being rich and famous. That's what comes with being a public figure. So look, you just don't get the wah, wah, wah from me. Taylor Swift gets it. Everybody gets it. You could argue Megan gets it more, but I would argue she makes it so that happens. She doesn't just like do her thing. She fights back and tries to put false narratives out there and stir it up with her own little weird sources, her lick spittles, her Sussex squad, which are as toxic as it gets, guys. Honestly, I, I they're one of the worst groups I've ever had to deal with on here. Them and the Snyder cult, they're nasty. Anyway, here's the tee up to Megan being able to now, after already promoting herself as a speaker and a charity and all that she's hyped herself up in these dumb little sound bites that she did. Here she is now getting to take a shot at us. Yes, social media is a environment that I think has a lot of that, you know, it's really interesting as I can reflect on it. I keep my distance from it right now just for my own um, well-being, but. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right! You keep it, I mean, you may not read it tweet to tweet. This implication that she's not watching it is such a joke. Of course you keep an eye on it. The bulk of the bullying and abuse that I was experiencing in social media and online was when I was pregnant with Archie and with Lily and with a newborn with each of them. 
that's not even true. That's not even true. It was during Megxit when it was really bad. She's painting this now as the, oh, the poor pregnant woman. They liked you. What is this nonsense? Why is she always rewriting history? Um, and you just think about that and you to really wrap your head around why people would be so hateful. It's not catty, it's cruel. Why you would do that, and certainly when you're pregnant or you have a newborn, we all, as moms, you know it's such a tender and sacred time, and I think... She's victimizing herself so much. I was, I had a newborn, I'm a mother. Can you believe I was put through the ringer even then? Oh! Oh my God, it was way worse after. And, and yeah, it happens a lot. It sh that doesn't make it right. No one should be harassing you. But a lot of it was just criticism. And now you're trying to paint all of it in the same brush. And that's what really upsets me. You know, you could either succumb to it or nearly succumb to how painful that is. And maybe in some regards, because I was pregnant, that mammalian instinct just kicked in. Do everything you can to protect your child and as a result, protect yourself too. But you know, the, look, there's a legit argument. Was she pregnant? And I'm not saying the kids are fake, but was there a surrogate at times? There is some real theories that I've humored and I can't just say no to. I believe the children are real. Don't get me that crazy. But I, was was there a surrogate involved? Potentially. So all of this feels so calculated in her answering. You know, I think as we look at what's happening in social media, there is so much work to be done in terms of keeping people safe. That starts as we see what's happening with children um, and their exposure to things. So Megan's going to be the barometer. She'll be the judge, jury, and executioner as to which channels are safe. You ready for that, guys? But also just creating these habits that what I find the most disturbing, frankly, especially as a supporter of women, is how much of the hate is women completely spewing that to other women. Were you there for Jessica Mulroney, uh, Megan? Were you there for, what was the, the latest? Uh, An Anika, was it? I, where's that thing I was looking up? Uh, you've had a lot of female friends, Megan, that you have not stood up for. I, I keep going to Jessica Mulroney because I know a lot of people don't like her, but I, I've had a, the liberty of at least talking to her. Not about Megan, I'm not trying to allude to anything else, but I just know that she was so upset during that cancellation by another woman who was falsely trying to cancel her and label her a racist, which Megan knew she wasn't. Was Megan there to support her fellow friend and woman? Was she? No. She throws her women friends by the wayside if it doesn't suit her. If she can have a chance to claw up another ladder, she will push that woman, in, woman into the ocean in the deep end to go get it. Uh, my God, I have another example coming next week. You'll see. She is a complete fraud when it comes to I stand up for women. You'll do some charitable stuff for certain women that you see that you know will make yourself look better. But I don't believe she actually does it behind closed doors to the ones that matter. And I cannot make sense of that because I understand that there are certain platforms. Look, today's a, a really good example. This is being streamed on one of those platforms. YouTube. And it's also fantastic because people are gonna have access to hear all of this brilliance and all of this insight. And at the same time, it's a platform that has quite a bit of hate and rhetoric and- Hate and rhetoric. What does that mean? Incentivizes people to create pages where they can churn out very, very inciting comments and conspiracy theories that can have a tremendously negative effect on someone's mental health. This is all her plan, guys, to silence us. Did you hear what she just said? Did you hear what she just said? That's a shot at me, at Steph, at every royal channel you watch. I want to play it one more time. Very, very inciting comments and conspiracy theories that can have a tremendously negative effect on someone's mental health. Um, Our rhetoric here of being honest, criticizing freedom of speech, it's hurting her mental health. So therefore, we must be silenced. Now, there is legit harassment out there against her. I'm not going to deny that. But she's trying to wrap it all up in the same ribbon. And that is terrifying that she's trying to, and, and potentially now getting access with these people and these panels. And 
the her own her own agency is involved in this sponsoring South by Southwest, which is owned by all these trades, lifting her up as the feminist icon who's going to try to change how the digital YouTube tr platforms go. I mean, my God, this is crazy. Their physical safety. So I think we have to really take a, a look at that. And we're talking about how many women are in leadership positions, as you're saying, in broadcast. There are a lot of women that are at the highest level, executive level, who are great champions of women, who are great philanthropists. And they get paid less than their men. Oh wait, that's Archwell. <laughs> and they are working in these spaces and yet they're allowing this kind of behavior to run rampant. These women are allowing, the women at YouTube are allowing me and Steph and everybody who's commenting on Megan to be here. How dare, and I guess, take me out of it. I'm a man, I'm a misogynist man because I'm making fun of Megan Markle. I'm criticizing her, whatever you want to say it is. Whoa, yeah, yeah. But now this is going towards Steph or Sue or Taz or Paula or, all, you know, Megan's mole. All the people who are out there f rightfully so allowed to criticize and make comment about Megan and call her out for the nonsense. She's saying, how dare you as women call me out because I'm a woman. We should give each other a free pass to say and do whatever we want. And at a certain point, they have got to put the do's behind the say's and really make some changes on a systemic level. And then, you know, on the flip side of that, we have a responsibility in all of that. Wait, do, put the do's behind the say's as if she didn't prepare that. There's another one coming. As if this isn't a script she rehearsed dozens of times in the mirror leading up to this panel. This was always the plan. She has prepared everything she said at this event to position herself as a oh, high status, well-spoken feminist icon. People are gonna watch this and go, oh, wow, I didn't know Megan was so good at this. I need to book her for my event. That's all this is, guys. And she's using it as an opportunity, to take a shot at us and make us look stupid because they're getting a lot of flack and they need some brand, they need some brand uh, <laughs> explosion because it's dying. And so she's out there now desperately trying to position herself as someone who actually has power or influence because she currently has none. The systemic change has to happen at the same time as the cultural change is happening. Because if you're reading something terrible, terrible about a woman, why are you sharing it with your friends? Why are you even the cameraman just laughed <laughs> <laughs> choosing to put that out in the world? Yeah, don't ever criticize a woman, guys. Come on, women. I'm talking to you specifically. Don't you dare ever criticize a woman. They're off limits because you as a woman aren't allowed to criticize other women. You must just, you know, fall in line and let them be a woman because women it's International Women's Day. Am I saying this right, Megan? What if it was your friend or your mom or your daughter? You wouldn't do it. And I think that. What about Jessica Mulroney, Megan? What about her? Remember when you just completely left your woman friend, threw her under the bus, let her be painted as a racist, falsely by some other woman who was calling her out for nonsense? Where were you? <laughs> Where were you? Where were you in any of your female? And I would love other female friends of Meghan Markle. I've got a few on deck. I hope to talk to privately to get some more intel on this woman because Meghan, they don't like you. You've, you've left so many females in your wake to marry the prince. It is despicable the way you are positioning yourself as if you're some powerful, authoritative figure. You're not. You, you've done so much wrong in your own life towards many important, powerful women in your life who had your back. And still are, for some reason, having your back, even though they shouldn't. They should expose you for the for the person you are. That is the piece that is so lost right now in what's happening in the digital... She's trying to shame the other women, too. Like, don't come... This is all so calculated. She doesn't want the Jessicas and everybody to come out and talk crap about her. How, how could you come out and talk bad about a woman? Oh, I can't even fathom it. I'm not talking about you. Yeah, because all you think about is yourself. You need to, when you need to actually help and support and publicly defend someone, you don't have the balls to do that because it might affect your brand. ...space and in certain sectors of the media, we have forgotten about our humanity. And that has got to change because I understand there's a bottom line and I understand that a lot of money is being made there. But even if it's making dollars, it doesn't make sense. She dropped that like a mic drop. And did you hear silence? <laughs> Tell me that was not prepared. She's teased it up 
And I know it's got to make dollars, but even if it's got, what was the, if it makes but even if silence. it's making dollars, it even if it's making dollars, it needs to make sense. It doesn't make sense. It changed because I, but even if it's making dollars, it doesn't make sense. I mean, if it's making dollars, it's probably making sense for whoever wants those dollars. <laughs> Whoever's making those dollars is probably like, huh? This is making clear sense to me. <laughs> I mean, clearly, Megan, you guys make the dollars to throw in your own royal family and your own Markle family under the bus. And you made a lot of dollars off of stuff that didn't make sense. You are such a hypocrite. And yeah, look, I, I, last thing I want to do today is to spend International Women's Day calling out a woman. But I find this woman to be such a fraud for the cause. She is not someone who should be the face of this. She just shouldn't. I mean, it'd be like putting like a Jeffrey Dahmer as the face for like wellness. It just, it doesn't make sense. It may bring dollars for views, but it doesn't make sense. I don't know. I'm trying to use her logic. This is embarrassing. And I, I, no, I see right through it. This is, this is such PR spin to try to get her brand back, to try to get other gigs. And yeah, she wants to try to take us all out. We are, our, our rhetoric, my rhetoric here. What, what rhetoric? I'm calling you out. It's called the truth. Yeah, I don't like you. Yeah, I'm sure you don't like me. What can we do about that? I don't know. But I'm here reacting to your public appearances and sharing my opinion on them. This isn't about your looks or your race or your your gender. It is about the hypocrisy of you not actually standing up for your own gender countless times. That makes me react this way. So I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I, what else did I miss? There's so much more. If you want to go watch the whole uh, panel, I think she's live right now. So if she's not, go check it out. I'll be there. Go support Steph the Alternator. Give her a, a, a subscribe. Make sure if you haven't already subscribed here to Popcorn Palace as well. We got lots of good stuff coming. Uh, also, I just would like to say, smash the like it, the bell, you know, all those comments. Also, just shout out to Shauna. Sorry you're not getting paid as much as the guys over there at Archwell. Make that make sense on International Women's Day. I can't. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you want to hear more from this panel? Maybe we'll post some more videos, but I want to make sure you got that bit. Please hit the subscribe. Check out what's on Popcorn Planet and stay tuned for more.